Nigeria is a multilingual nation with 452 different ethnic languages operating daily amongst the lives of the people. A person in Nigeria uses one or two of these languages in their daily interactions. Hausa, Yoruba, and Igbo, the three major ethnic languages, are predominantly spoken and used as ways of communication in the regions where they are localized. Whereas Hausa is mainly used in the north, Yoruba in the west, and Igbo in the east, Pidgin is used as a lingua franca in the south-south geopolitical zone in the Niger Delta region. Apart from these ethnic languages, there are other varieties of languages that are in operation in the society. For example, predominantly English language, Pidgin and Creoles. Not officially declared in the Nigerian constitution as the country's official language, English is the dominant language in Nigeria. In the absence of a national language, English, which is learned and spoken as a second language in the country, has had to assume the position of and is accepted as the unofficial official language of Nigeria. The only means of communication or common language is English or Pidgin due to the inability to understand one another. People hardly use their indigenous languages. The role of English as a dominant language to a large extent could be said to be one of the causes of language regression in Nigeria. It is clear that there is an inability of the country to design a national language policy. Nigeria does not have a language policy. The constitution nonetheless states that the National Assembly must conduct its affairs in English. The constitution also allows the use of indigenous languages in addition to English in the state houses of the assembly. The introduction of regional indigenous languages in the state houses of assembly became necessary particularly in the north where Hausa is spoken by well over one quarter of the Nigerian population as a first language. It is the government, through its language policies, that recognizes some languages as social and national, and giving more value to such languages than others. Government accords status to some languages by adopting them for use in administration, education, judiciary, parliament, media, etc. From our point of view, The Nigerians ascribe themselves to any language that will keep uniting the country as one as they continue to strive for its unification or inclusion through language democratization. We also believe that it is unfair how the government of this country does not support Nigerian people to maintain their ethnic languages. Instead, they foster English learning in order to keep, for example, a good economy or education.